Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam here. And in today's video, I'm doing a bit of a review and a comparison between the Think Tank Mirrorless Mover Bag and the new Think Tank Mirrorless Mover Version 2. But before we get into the video, let's go ahead and roll the intro. Okay, so if you guys have been coming to the channel for a little while, you know not too long ago I did a review of the Think Tank Mirrorless Mover 30i bag from Think Tank Photo. This is my very favorite camera bag. I absolutely love it. It's small, it's compact, it's lightweight, it's easy to carry all the gear you could possibly need for doing a shoot out in the field, on the road, street photography, whatever the case may be. And now just recently, Think Tank released their mirrorless mover version two. So we're gonna take a look at these two bags, see what's the same and what's different between them and give you an idea of my thoughts on this new camera bag from Think Tank Photo. So the original Think Tank has a zip top that unzips around this way and then it flips open to you which that is convenient when you're wearing the bag because then you got direct access to everything in the from the top of the camera bag so you got access to all the dividers and compartments you can see my my uh, X-T3 in there and uh, some accessories and stuff like that that I have in there and I really like that and it has the enclosed uh, the flip over magnetic flap on the front cover the front part of the bag now on the new generation they still have the opening at the top but they reversed it so now you flip this flap back and then you unzip the top the opposite way and now it flips back towards you so it still gives you ready access to everything in your bag uh, i kind of like the flap on the original version a little bit better just because you have a little bit of privacy when you have your stuff out um, so people can't see what you have and in this bag it has the same kind of divider system um, you can see my fujifilm x100v in there along with some accessories and stuff like that now both of them have the flap in the top with the zipper that you can put extra batteries in or you know memory cards anything like that and they're nice and secure in there you don't have to worry about that this one is a velcro enclosure this one actually has a zipper so i stand corrected on that part and you can see i have a couple of the spare batteries for my x100v already in there aside from that this one also has you know the flap that goes over the front and it has a pocket on the front just like the first generation and you can see in there you've got the pockets um, where you can store additional items. You can put your smartphone in there. I've got a cleaning cloth, microfiber cloth in there. And in this pocket, I've got some of the uh, alcohol wipes to wipe down my gear with to keep it nice and clean. Now, this one does also come with a key ring lanyard built in where the first generation did not have that. So it's a nice little addition to the bag. And just like the first generation, the second generation one has a complete rain cover that you can put over the entire bag to make it better rainproof. It is moisture proof. If it's a light rain, the bag will be fine. But if you're going to be in a heavy downpour, definitely put the pull out and put the full rain cover over it to totally protect your gear. Um, so they do both have that same design as far as the front zipper pocket. Um, you can see the one on this one here. The first generation and i unzip it here in the same kind of setup microfiber cloth i got the rain poncho in this pocket and i've got some cleaning supplies and stuff like that in this side pouch over here and then again i can zip the whole thing back up everything's nice and secure nothing to worry about now both bags do have the gusseted flaps on the side that are a little bit stretchy so you can put like a water bottle in one side or you can put a compact monopod or a mini tabletop tripod or something like that in one of those side pockets and know that it's going to be nice and secure now on both bags you can remove the shoulder strap and you can actually use the bag as a belt pack kind of like a big fanny pack you can see it's got the the pocket right here to run your belt through and you can actually wear it on your waist just like you could on the previous generation so they both have that functionality they're they're similar in many ways but there are some differences and tweaks that they made to the gen 2 model over the gen 1. now both of them have the high quality ykk rc zippers they have the adjustable dividers inside that are attached using velcro so you can move and change the size of the compartments and make it much easier on yourself so you don't have any 
anything to worry about there. And they both have a grab handle on the top, which is extremely convenient. The new generation has a secure, um, let me get it to it here. Let me open it back up. This one has the secure pocket for memory cards. I think it's in the front here. Let me see. Yeah, right here. Um, it has these little outer pockets that Velcro shut where I, on the outside of where I've got my microfiber bag that you can actually slip your memory cards into these slots right here, uh, making it quick and easy to get to your memory cards. Now, the first generation one, I don't believe has that feature. Just open it back up and double check. Yeah, that is a new feature on the Gen 2. So this one just has the two large pockets. It doesn't have the separate uh, clear pockets on the front for your memory card. And the fabric is clear so you can see exactly what the capacity is of your memory cards and so on and so forth uh, as far as that goes. So a lot of cool changes they made to the bag. But again, you know, Think Tank Photo has been around for quite a long time. They make absolutely fantastic gear, super high quality products, very durable, very reliable, and excellent for keeping your gear safe. Now, they do offer the new mirrorless mover version 2. They got rid of the I designation. I don't know why. Uh, shout out to Matt at Think Tank Photo. He's been my contact at the company, answering all my questions and stuff like that. And he's been fantastic. All the folks at, at Think Tank Photo are really great people and they make quality products. But they did remove the I designation. This one was called the mirrorless mover 30i. And this was just called the mirrorless mover 30 version 2. So they dropped the I designation. Um, I'm not sure what the designation ever stood for, to be honest. But they do offer these bags in various sizes. So first you have the Mirrorless Mover 5. Now the Mirrorless Mover 5 can fit one small point and shoot camera or one small size mirrorless body like a micro four thirds body with a small uh, telephoto lens or a pancake lens attached. Now the 5, the Mirrorless Mover 5 would be great for like my Fujifilm X100V if I just wanted something very, very small and compact to carry my camera in. You could also put like like a Canon PowerShot G7 Mark III in there, a Sony CyberShot a DSC RX100 or something like that, or a Leica Deluxe 7 digital camera with its included accessories. Now that's in the, the Mover 5 version, the smallest one. Now, it does also come with a shoulder strap. It has the rain cover, and it does have one vertical divider inside for an internal pocket, one secure card pocket inside the lid, and they come in various dimensions. So the version 5 is 4.5 inches wide by 6 inches high by 4.25 inches deep, and the internal dimensions, that's the outside, the internal dimensions are 3.5 inches by 6 inches, or I'm sorry, 5 inches by 3 inches in diameter, and that's that's the internal part and the weight is seven ounces so it's an extremely light bag and the weight is including the rain cover and the shoulder strap now the next size up that they offer is the mirrorless mover 10 so it's a slightly bigger bag now this one will fit one small to medium point and shoot camera or a small size mirrorless body with a small telephoto or pancake lens or small prime attached such as your sony a6400 with the 16 to 50 or the leica q U2 with its 28 millimeter built-in lens, the Olympus um, EMD Mark IV with the 14 to 42 lens, and any accessories. As far oh, as far as the bag accessories, it has the web shoulder strap, it has the rain cover, and one vertical divider as well for internal pockets, and it does have the key hook lanyard. The Model 5 does not have the key lanyard, but the 10 and larger all do. So the uh, lid has the hook and loop clear plastic pocket and the external dimensions on the mover 10 are five inches by 6.5 by four inches or four and a half inches and the interior is 5.5 inches by 3.25 by i'm sorry five inches by five and a half inches by 3.25 that's for the interior including the rain cover and the shoulder strap the total weight is 9.5 ounces now the next one that they offer is the mirrorless mover 20 and that one can fit a standard mirrorless body plus one to two lenses short or medium telephoto lenses f4 zooms or short to medium primes like a 90 millimeter or something like that 
You could fit a Sony a7 IV with the 24 to 70 f4 or the 2.8 uh, plus the grip and you could fit a Nikon Z6 Mark II with the 24 to 70 and the 50 millimeter 1.8 or a Canon EOS R6 with the 24 to 70 f4 with the 50 millimeter 1.8 as well. Now the accessories for the Mover 20 are the same shoulders type of shoulder strap, the ring cover, you get two vertical dividers and two horizontal stacking dividers for internal pockets and again it does have the keychain lanyard or key hook lanyard and it has the front pockets uh three sides and two secure card pockets in the mirrorless mover 20. Now, the mirrorless mover 25 can fit one standard mirrorless body plus two to three lenses in short or medium telephoto f4 zooms or short to medium primes, again, like your 90 millimeter or maybe your 110 millimeter. You could fit a Sony a a7 IV with a 70 to 200 f4 plus the grip. You could fit an Icon Z62 with the 50 millimeter 1.8 attached to the body plus the 24 to 70 2.8. The Canon EOS R6 with the RF. 70 to 200 2.8 L or in my case you could even fit I believe on the 25 I could easily fit in my GFX 50R medium format body with say the 50 millimeter prime or possibly even the 23 millimeter prime if I turn it and point the lens down and have the back facing up in the back. Now on the mirrorless mover 25 you get the padded shoulder strap, you get the rain cover, three vertical dividers, two horizontal dividers to create your internal pockets, the key hook lanyard, the front pocket with three sides and three secured card pockets. So you can fit a lot of gear in that one and then of course the one I have is the mirrorless mover 30 generation 2. Now this can fit a standard mirrorless body plus two two to four lenses, short to medium f4 and f2.8 zooms or short to medium primes. You could fit say a Nikon Z62 with a 24 to 70 f4 and the 16 to 24 2.8 or a DJI Mavic Pro drone with the controller and batteries. And of course this one, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, has the padded shoulder strap, the rain cover, three vertical dividers, two horizontal stacking dividers, and the key hook lanyard, as well as the front pocket, three sides, and three secure card pockets. So those are all of the possibilities in the various sizes of the mirrorless mover. They did offer the sizes, the various sizes in the first generation as well as in the second generation. All right, so for the new colors that are available for the mirrorless mover version 2 we have a cool gray we have a coast green we have a marine blue and then of course mine is the campfire orange I went with that color just because I thought it looked kind of cool and my old bag was in the uh, blue gray color whoops as you can see here I had the strap caught so those are the colors that are available for the new mirrorless mover version 2 series I think the colors look absolutely fantastic if you'd like to pick up one of these bags for yourself, I have my Think Tank affiliate link down in the description of this video. If you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra. You pay the same price as everybody else. It just helps out the channel a little bit. Plus, if you order from my affiliate link, you can get a free gift as well. So, hey, who doesn't like free stuff? Am I right? All right. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications, and I will see you in the next video.